Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge. Since the beginning of human civilization, attempts have been made to make human life more manageable. Till now, we are constantly intoxicated with discoveries. Different countries push themselves to discover things, but they are just not keeping everything within themselves. They're sharing, they're spreading their inventions. But it wouldn't be so easy to share these benefits with everyone if we had no access to roads, roads, bridges construction techniques. Now every country has a better communication system. Everyone is connected to the street or through a bridge. Some of the roads and the bridges in the world have been built so that we have to be surprised to see, especially the bridges. Some bridges have crossed the waves of the sea and have formed connections across the big rivers. Yes, viewers. In today's episode, we will inform you about a bridge known as the best bridge in the world today. Before that, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. If you have already done so, thank you very much. As the length of the bridge has increased over time, so has the height. Engineers are constantly competing to make the impossible possible. Leaving the river, the bridge is now being built over the sea. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge symbolizes this period in China and is situated in China's two most important cities, Shanghai and Nanjing. The communication system of these two provinces, which was progressing rapidly, was not very good. That is why the construction of the bridge was planned in collaboration with the Chinese Railway Department. The bridge connects Nanjing, the capital of Jiangsu province, with Shanghai, the country's economic heartland. This bridge is so big that engineers had to consider the Earth's round shape during its construction. The bridge is located between Shanghai and Nanjing in the eastern Chinese province of Jiangsu. This is the delta area of the Chongjiang River. This bridge crosses all the lowland paddy lands, canals, rivers, and lakes. And that's why the engineers had to struggle a lot because they had to study the hard rocky soils of the high mountains at every different place. Just as they had to examine the soft dirt of the plains and the condition of the profound waterway. The Grand Bridge was built by the sum of several bridges. The Grand Bridge was created mainly for high-speed rail communication. The bridge is so long that at least five railway stations had to be built on it. The south of the Changjiang River, the bridge's 8 to 80 kilometers path is parallel. It passed through the northern edge of the population center of Danyang, Changzhou, Wuxi Suzhou and ended at Kunshan. That is why it is named Danyang Kunshan Bridge. Suzhou has a 9 km long stretch of open water across Yangcheng Lake. Located in Jiangsu Province, China, the length of the bridge is 164.8 or 1,64,600 meters. Part of the bridge is the Qingdao Haiwan Road Bridge, which is 42.5 km long. Another part is Zhaozhou Bay Bridge. The length of this bridge over the sea is about 26 miles. Typhoons are the biggest challenge to bridge construction in China. The builders have had to face this challenge in the case of this bridge as well. However, it has been built to stand still with its thumb pointing to any type of typhoon. It took only four years to build this bridge. Construction of the bridge began in 2006 and was completed in 2010, and opened in 2011. About 10,000 workers worked day and night to build the bridge. It is made at about 8.5 billion, 
The bridge has a maximum height of 240 feet above sea level and 100 feet. Seeing this, many tourists flock to the Danyang Kunshan area. Since its construction, it has set many records for bridges in the world. As of June 2011, the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge holds the Guinness World Record for the longest bridge in the world in any category. To build this highly diverse bridge, Chinese engineers have had to deal with all sorts of complex natural problems. The builders claim that even a magnitude 6 earthquake will not do anything about this bridge. And if any ship weighing 3 lakh tons collides with it, nothing will happen to this bridge. If you plan to travel to China, you can pay a visit to the best and largest construction site in the world. And you can think of yourself as a witness in history, and yes when you come back and share your feelings with us. If you like the video, please like, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the latest update.